Okay, so uh, welcome back to Ackle. This is the second week on site now. Uh, we've just moved on to the main excavation and we're working in quadrant three, uh, which was left partially finished last year. And it's going quite well. We've only been up here for two days. This is where we were at the end of the summer last year. And this is the extension of the trench. So we've got to the, uh, the boundaries of this quadrant now. Um, so this is as much as we're doing. Uh, we've obviously got a lot of work left to do, but already we've got some nice, nice results. This is the wall of the enclosure uh, that we were working on last year, and it extends right the way across here. But that is looking very much like a possible entrance, um, which we weren't expecting. But we'll dig that out in the next couple of days and see what's there. It certainly looks like a channel is cut through the banks. It's possibly erosion, but um, I think I think that's going to be an entrance. The wall on this side is looking very impressive already. I mean, we knew this was going to be big because it's visible um, on the ground, um, and the the rear side of that over by the fence it, it's coming up by about a meter. But it's lovely to see it. Um, just get a quick look a bit behind on that and you can see the size of that coming up out the ground so this is going to look pretty nice when we've got it cleaned up we've also got the hint of a, another structure possibly or some sort of wall coming up this way uh, it may just be collapsed but we'll see it does seem to line up with this um, ridge in the heather and that has been before uh, an indication of some sort of structural remains where the, the heather has bumped up over the stones. So the plan at the moment is just to finish off cutting the edges of the trenches, they're almost there, and then we're going to get it all tidied up, give it a good troweling, and um, see where we're, we're at by the end of the day. So we'll be back later, uh, fairly wild on Ackle at the moment, but we've, we've got a nice enough looking day. A few coats have come off, which is good, and uh, yeah, we'll see what uh, we'll see what it looks like by the end. Of the day. Okay, so uh, end of Thursday on the first week, and the guys are all busy working away. They've done a nice job. So we've got the trench. It's almost clean again. Well, and the old bit is clean. The uh, the extension is almost done, and you can see all that lovely. Um, charcoal rich deposits running across there that's the same sort of stuff that we were taking off in quadrant four um, that all those pits were buried beneath and it looks now quite clear that certainly this more orange material up there has come off of the wall um, as you can see the, the infill of the wall is a brighter orange I think that's just eroded material that's come down here um, we have had uh, an exciting discovery. Well, discovery, but development, I suppose. Um, I think I've shown you there was looking like there was an extra bit of wall coming across there, and now it's very clear that that's what's happening. And in fact, that is the inner face of the main enclosure wall. And you can see it just comes round and just keeps going down there. So that wall's heading off that direction, and you can probably see it there in the heather. What's exciting about that is that this wall here, the guys are working on, is not the same wall. So that's later than the enclosure. Well, it's um, Friday afternoon on the end of the first week for these guys, second week of the project for the summer. Um, things are coming along really nicely now. We've got all that inside cleaned up beautifully. Um, we're getting some separation on the wall now, but I, uh, I just wanted to introduce you to everyone. So, hello, Carolyn. Where are you from? Uh, Hartsville, South Carolina. South Carolina. Okay. Uh, here we've got Cameron and Eric working away on the wall. Uh, this is this big wall at the, the north west corner of the site just finding the surface down there the, beneath the overburdens and the soils. So, Cameron, where are you from? Tempe, Arizona. Okay. And Eric? Alpadina, California. Ok. 
Okay. I'll get down that way. Here's Abby. You've seen her before, but she's the supervisor on the site at the moment. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Full of enthusiasm, loves being filmed. She just, just loves having the camera pointed at her. Where are you from? Atlanta, Georgia. There we go. And hiding in the corner over here, looking. Uh, actually, they're out of the wind. They found the best spot for today. <laughs> this is Anna. Where are you from? I'm from Philadelphia, PA. Huh? And this is Amber. Hi. Where are you from? Catch from Canada. That's, there's like seven people in the village that she's from. <laughs> Tiny place. <laughs> and you see they're just re-cleaning the site from last year. Just getting all those lovely colours back so that we can start the recording and getting all the plans done. So. By lunchtime today, this is going to look really, really good, and uh, we can start doing all the drawings and getting. Uh, well, and then next week we can take off this interior layer and um, start to figure out what's really going on underneath. Hopefully, find more of those pits and the post holes. Um, I got some interesting ideas about what might be happening to the site and with these the walls over in that corner and what they mean but um, I'll keep them to myself for a week or two. Um, the other thing that's going on is we're doing a bit of gardening over on the other part of the site. You must have seen this last year we've got all these strange stony things and other buildings and stuff going on out here so maybe you can see there there's a little circular feature of some sort it's quite a clear bank it's probably not showing up well on the film but we've got a real mass of stone and we wanted to um, really try and clarify what's going on here before we do any more work so before we do the topographic survey and all of that I'm just doing a bit of gardening and for the first time really we're starting to get a, a clear view of what's going on with this structure in particular and I don't know it's probably coming out around here so once all all of this stuff all of these plants and roots are out of the way we should have a real nice idea of what might be going on there and the same process will be going on down there try and clarify what's part of what what do these stones mean? Do they join up with these ones? And we'll do it just by cutting down all these reeds, getting off some of the heather just to properly expose it. And at that point we'll stop and really do a very detailed recording of this area. So that's quite exciting. Um, I've been visiting this site for, I don't know, I don't know seven, eight years. And this is the first time I've really started to understand what this, this building bit is. Anyway, we'll, uh, we'll get on. It's Friday, we've got a field trip to Sligo tomorrow, so busy, 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 uh, and uh, got a bit of sunshine and blue skies, which is lovely, a bit overdue. Okay, uh, end of the first week, uh, these guys are just packing up and going home, They're, it's Friday night but they've all got to go to bed really early because we go to Sligo in the morning, uh, gutted. Um, it's a field trip to a couple of megalithic cemeteries, a medieval church, an early medieval church as well. Uh, and stuff. But they got on really well this week. Um, really nice looking archaeology turning up. We've now got that interior beautifully, beautifully cleaned. Um, and the wall is down to the the more solid stuff. I think we've got a ways to go. Um, but that's this big wall and then you can see coming through there the continuation of the enclosure and I think the the arc and all that is, is quite clear there. There's this possible entrance that we've had a look at 
we've got to sort that out next week um, but we did some gardening um, over on the other side and we can see the little building over there really nicely for the first time first time ever really and this is just cutting uh, cutting the overgrowth away absolutely fabulous uh, just to see that I don't know it's not looking very megalithic to me but um, a really nice building Corbled stonework coming up, still a bit of overhang on it, and I'm not sure where it ends um, in amongst this, but at least we can record it. I've got the case. You have. Really nice what you're doing. Um, try to it in my pocket. Um, so that's it. That was a really good week, seeing as we lost a day to rain. Um, yeah like that. Uh, suspect we might be looking at a post medieval building but uh, who knows at this stage. <laughs>